Into its 120th year, the New Zealand Amateur Championship is an event steeped in history and tradition. It was wet and windy conditions that greeted the competitors for the final of this year's Premier Match Play Tournament. In the men's competition, it was two teenagers who negotiated their way through the draw to meet in the 36-hole final, with 17-year-old Northlander Caden Niho meeting 18-year-old Tasman golfer Ryan Chisnell. Chisnell held the advantage in the early stages as he established a two-up lead early in the round. However, Niho came roaring to life on the back nine as he went on a scoring blitz to take control of the match. This superb approach on the 12th set up a tap in birdie, which sparked his run. Birdies at 13, 14 and 15 followed as momentum shifted in his favour, leaving Chisnell to fight for survival. I was just trying to keep it as much in touch as I possibly could, so I'm kind of happy to only be two down considering uh, the last three holes I had, or well, four holes I had four halves, so I'm still in touch, so positive for the, for the afternoon. Unfortunately for Chisnell, his opponent was also positive, opening his second round with another birdie. By the third hole, Niho had doubled his halfway lead, showing his scrambling skills. However, Chisnell wasn't ready to give up yet and produced some late magic to keep his hopes of a maiden New Zealand amateur title alive. That birdie on 12 was followed by another on 13 to get the margin back to three, close enough to rattle the nerves of Niho. I did get a bit worried and I didn't play the 14th hole too well but I managed to hold on in the next two holes, so I was definitely feeling the nerves there. Neho's bogey on 14 allowed Chisnell back within two, but an untimely three-putt handed the hole back to the Northlander, putting him three up with three holes to play. With both players safely on the green on the par 3 16th, Chisnell was left needing to hold a monster putt to keep the match alive. Oscar says to me, you'll probably hold it. I'm like, there's no way, mate, that's miles away. And just gave it a whack, picked a line, and it almost went in. Got close. <laughs> the miss left Niho a regulation two putt for the four and two win, which he easily took care of to become Northland's first golfer to lift the prestigious trophy. The humble youngster admitting the win had come as a big shock. It wasn't a thought on my mind winning. I tried to just do well, and it just went on. And yeah, winning just seemed to be there. <laughs> Gave myself the chance. In the women's event, New Zealand squad member Julianne Alvarez and Waikato's Hannah Seifert earned the right to battle it out for the top prize. After the early tussle, Alvarez began to pull away with three back nine birdies. Her birdie on 17 gave her a healthy five up advantage, which she carried into the afternoon round. Seifert looked to mount a comeback in the second round with birdies on 5, 7 and 8, but these were followed by bogeys on 9 and 10. Seifert's troubles continued when she missed the green on the 11th with Alvarez par enough to give her a 7-up advantage with 7 holes remaining. And despite lipping out her attempt for birdie on the next hole, Alvarez had done enough to win the title when Seifert's short effort for birdie also refused to drop. The commanding seven and six victory allowing the Manor Park golfer to tick the historic tournament off her checklist. I've been working at this for a very long time and it's really cool to finally win a New Zealand amateur. And to be one of the names on this trophy now is really cool because there's, I was just looking at it before, there's so many really good names on this trophy.